Hi, this is Dr. Richard Ruling here to welcome you on the Total Health Channel. Thank you for being with us from day to day. Uh, please, uh, let's ask God's blessing on this time together. Heavenly Father, uh, again, we have an opportunity to share truths of the kingdom. And uh, we know it's of interest to you, uh, vital interest, because of the high reward you give us. Please uh, help us to understand it better today as we talk about it. And uh, bless the people. We pray for your Holy Spirit to uh, see things as you intend from your word. And to do exceeding abundantly for Christ's sake. Hallelujah. Well, the uh, topic or title for this w today's uh, talk is How to Be All That We Can Be for Christ's Sake. Uh, he's interested in us. We're in his image. He wants us to be all that we can be. We tend to think of it from a maybe selfish perspective, but the reward he's going to give us for doing it his way is huge. I, uh, I wrote an article recently and shared it with a, a non-SDA, but I believe he's a Christian, and uh, said, you know, what Christ is offering us is better than two terms in the White House or a billion dollars. People spend millions to get in the White House. Maybe Trump spent a billion. I don't know. But I wrote an article, and uh, he added some things, changed it, uh, and I'm a little embarrassed because it sounds pretty prideful, uh, but really it's, it's about uh, the promise that Christ made. And there's a link below in the, in the thing that you can read the article and pass it, share it with others, at, because it clarifies some things, and maybe they will uh, read an article on the Internet. The point is that, if we wanted to be in the White House, uh, not likely to happen. But what Christ is offering us is much better. And so for people who believe the Bible, if we accept the Bible as true, and I think I, I in the article used two illustrations. One, the, the Bible has an excellent track record. Christ said to study and understand Daniel. And Daniel spans 2,600 years to our time when the... Gabriel told Daniel the, the, this vision is at the time of the end, which is now, and so that the Medes and Persians today are Iraq and Iran. And that vision is half fulfilled. Saddam is no longer here from Iraq. Okay, We will be going to war against Iran, Persia. Okay, Everybody knows, uh, most people literate uh, knows Persia is Iran. And the point is that, that uh, the Bible is right on target for that vision. And Christ uh, also, you know, most documented event probably in history, best known, is the resurrection of Christ. Uh, pe the, the Jews scorn it and say it was not so, but uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, uh, they were willing to die for it. Originally they ran. The last night in the uh, Passover they, they were afraid and ran for their lives, but later were willing to die for him. Why? Because they'd seen him. You know. And would you die for a lie? I don't think so. You know, I think that it's uh, in the court of law, two witnesses are good, and we have three or four, and of course the, the whole New Testament is reflecting back on that. But uh, Christ's last parables in the last week of his life, two of them focused on the wedding in Matthew 22 and in Matthew 25. And uh, they both imply we don't get it, we don't understand it, we're asleep with lights out like the ten virgins, or in Matthew 22, the invitation is scorned and ridiculed. Well, why would you scorn a king's invitation? You know, this is this is stupid. But uh, the point is that uh, the third there's the third wedding parable that it, uh, we never hear about. It, it doesn't. Maybe it's not recognized as a parable. But Peter said, "Are you speaking this parable to us or everybody?" So Peter didn't understand it, and uh, yet uh, it was. It's about a wedding in. Luke 12, verse 36, it mentions the wedding. And uh, if we are doing what he wants us to do uh, so that we're ready when he knocks to open to him, uh, and if we're watching, uh, verse 44 says he will make him ruler over all that he has. Since my name is ruling, I really want to understand that, but it's not just about me. It's about 144,000. The uh, 20, Matthew 25 is about 10 virgins. Five miss the wedding, but the virgins imply the 144,000 who are also virgins. If the Bible interprets itself, it has to be the wise virgins that get into the wedding. There's no other explanation for that. And high reward, ruler over all that he has, if we're there for him. And uh, the, the issue is bad translation that makes us think in Matthew 25 that you can't know, won't know, never know, etc. 
Well, Christ was talking to disciples who did not understand, and that word means you don't understand, you don't, you're not aware, you, you need to consider, and the next word or phrase is because the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country. Travel in Israel's time in the spring meant you couldn't get back in time for Passover, at, which was the middle of the first spring month. So they were to keep Passover a month later. And this is clued to us by 9-11. Numbers 9, verse 10-11. You know, it's amazing that God could take uh, those the numbers that mean every American uh, over the age of, of uh, 30 knows 9-11, you know, uh, because it was, it was a huge event. And yet today, when we, we think, well, Christ uh, wants us to be watching all the time, we don't know when. Uh, it, watching all the time is watching no time, you know, you, because the word from watch, Gregorio, means be awake. And we can't be awake every night. And we just think, well, I'm watching the news, I know what's happening, blah, blah. Well, that's not what he meant. The Greek word Gregorio means be awake. And we can do that one night a year on the eve of Passover, which is when the wedding parables all had a focus. That midnight cry in the Ten Virgin parable goes back to midnight at Passover in Egypt, when death fell on the Egyptians. And uh, in Luke 12, there's triple trap of uh, Passover imagery. Watching means be awake, which was at Passover. He said, have your loins girded. That goes back to Exodus 12, verse 11, when they had their loins girded at Passover. And uh, the Last Supper imagery in Luke 12, 37 is uh, he will gird himself, make us sit down to eat and serve us. He did that at the Last Supper on Passover. So, you know, it's not a big mystery if we want to do it. It's just that we think we can't do it and uh, Christians don't do Passover and so on. Very stupid idea when we need, to, uh, he's trying to clue us for it. And it also fits other clues like as the days of Noah. The flood came with Passover timing, but in the second spring month. And the, the next parable, parable begins, Then shall two be in the field. Then means same time, second Passover. Okay, And so suddenly uh, an impossibility, because we can't watch all the time, becomes a possibility. Second spring month, Passover, May 20 instead of April 20 or 21. So, and, and the high sign heads up that it's really coming this year will be if we see Jerusalem compassed with armies a couple weeks from now. If we see that, hey, you know, uh, do everything you can to tell your friends because part of the conditions of, of being rewarded is to uh, the king's servants invite uh, others to the wedding, to the wedding feast. And so there's more to understand. And just uh, this is a, just a quick hello. Uh, turkey soup for the soul, uh, for, I'm sorry, for people who are chicken about end times. You can get that free at Amazon on Friday. Go to the website, uh, by the way, this link below here, and it gives you the link to that, so you'll have it. And just, uh, you know, uh, this is coming out a little different, but uh, we live in a nation of entrepreneurs. Uh, uh, there would be dozens of people wanting to be president if they could be, uh, if they thought they could be, and some are spend thousands, millions of dollars to, to get there and, and are disappointed. Uh, ben Carson, I personally knew him back in Maryland, and good man. Uh, I think probably his his uh, Seventh Day Adventist background came in the way of uh, getting the nod from other people because uh, they thought uh, creation crazy, you know. But <laughs> we keep the Sabbath in honor of creation to God, and uh, it just seems very unscientific to a, a an internet and media world that want to make you look stupid because uh, you're not approved by the people with money behind the scenes. So um, not good and uh, ultimately bad outcome for those people who trust that media. But uh, Ben Carson, good man, and uh, Trump is a good man. I believe uh, God chose him for that spot, but it's a thankless job and we can do better than that. Better than two terms in the White House is ruler over all that he has and it's for something uh, not real difficult, but that uh, little paragraph, that parable ends in Luke 12:48 with to whom much is given much is required and so there's more required than what I'm sharing with you but uh, we can still do that and we can be all that we can be only in that context you know uh, sorry that was, that's a nice motto for the army be all you can be well we got to be in God's army or we won't be all that we can be so thank you for sharing this uh, God bless you and see you again tomorrow